Today we're talking about tape. Seems like a silly thing to talk about, but we do need to talk about it. I just got done painting these garage doors and I used a crap ton of tape. And there's all kinds of different tapes. So today, that's what we're gonna focus on. Tape that we can use while we're on the road. It's gonna be a down and dirty, really quick video, nothing special. We've got our basic tape that we all have in our toolboxes. We've got some masking tape, we've got some electrical tape, probably have some double-sided sticky tape. Hopefully it's this good 3M stuff, sticks to anything. I use it for all kinds of stuff. And then everybody knows duct tape is king. Now I use Gorilla Tape. It's even stronger than, re than regular duct tape. A little more expensive, but works really, really good. Now, if you haven't had one of your side doors start flopping and you can't get it to latch and you tried everything and did some adjustments and all that, then, then you know it becomes a big pain in the ass. You get your duct tape out as a last ditch effort and you try to duct tape the thing closed. Now the downside to duct tape is what makes duct, duct tape so good. It's that sticky glue on the back there. Works really, really good for sticking stuff. Uh, if you don't want it to move, duct tape the damn thing. But the glue on there can leave uh, residue on your camper. You don't want that when you're turning it back in. Sometimes they'll claim damage. Duct tape, after it bakes in the sun and really gets on there, if you're pulling it off, it's gonna leave all kinds of glue. Some of them, some of the cheaper duct tape will leave strings. You can pull stickers off. Duct tape can do da damage to a camper. Another downside to duct tape is that the glue in it, the actual glue, and that goes for masking tape also, most masking tape. You can get masking tape uh, that doesn't have it, but the, the glue in it actually has acid in there. Now, if you take duct tape or even masking tape, take a piece of masking tape and put it on like a Jeep bla uh, plastic window with a temporary plate, and you leave it on there for a week or two, when you peel the tape off, it will actually have eaten away some of the plastic. Duct tape can do it a little bit faster when it's baked in the sun. If you're heading down into the, into the de desert southwest, the acid in this glue can do damage to the camper. You don't want that. There's a kind of tape that you can use that a lot of people don't know about, and it's not generally in someone's toolbox. You can't just go to most hardware stores and buy it. You can order it online. I'll drop a link in the description. Um, and we use it all the time. And it's this stuff here. It's called gaff tape, G-A-F-F. -F. Now, we also run a DJ business on the side, my son and I, and we use this stuff for sticking cables down to carpets, to wooden floors, to walls, to glass, to concrete, to anything that we need to stick cords down to make people not trip on them or to hide them and things like that. It's flat black, so it hides well in the dark, not that we're worried about that in the, in the RV industry. The, the tape, the glue on it is, is very sticky, very, very sticky. However, the great side to this is that the glue in it is non-acid. It is acid-free tape, and when you pull it off, it leaves no residue. It's one of the reasons why we have to use this when we're doing our DJ stuff. You can't take duct tape and be sticking it all over somebody's wood floor or sticking it on their carpet at some fancy venue or sticking it to somebody's uh, the wallpaper or, the, or the, the paint on the wall itself. Duct tape will pull that paint right off. This stuff sticks like crazy and it's waterproof and it's, it stays, stays on what you stick it really, really good. But when you pull it off, it pulls off clean. You just grab it, give it a rip, it comes off, no residue, and like I said, acid-free, doesn't do any damage. Gaff tape is where, it, where it's at. You can get it in several different widths. We get the super wide. This stuff will close a door. This will hold any flappy door closed with no problem. This will too, 
you just might have to do two runs of it. The wider stuff is, is better for uh, holding doors uh, closed. Now in our toolbox, we have it all. We have gaff tape, we have duct tape because sometimes you just gotta stick stuff together. We've had to fix radiator hoses and all kinds of crap with this Gorilla Tape. Uh, masking tape, we use a lot, of, lot for labeling stuff and things like that, not for any any real camper stuff, but sometimes we'll stick a thing, a piece of tape on the dash and write on it. It's kind of like a post-it note, but uh, mostly it's just for labeling stuff in the truck. Electrical tape, everybody knows you use electrical tape for a lot of different things. But the gaff tape is something that you should get, you should have in your toolbox, just in case you got one of those doors that are just flapping in the wind that you just can't seem to get latched or get closed back up. So that's the end of this video. Like I said, quick, down and dirty. It's just about tape. Get yourself some gaff tape. Sometimes you'll see it called gaffer's tape. But anyway, I'll leave a link in the description. So if you learned something new about tape and glue on tape and bad glue and good glue, then click the like thing, click the subscribe, click the little bell so you get notified when we do new stuff. And, uh, and it helps the channel out too. And hopefully, we'll see you on the road.